of Big Mike's Real Reviews. This is Big Mike, and today I'm covering the sixth episode of Marvel Studios' What If, which was entitled, What If Killmonger Saved Tony Stark? So, in this episode, we start out where the first Iron Man movie actually began, where he's in the Humvee, or the Funvee, and, uh, you know, instead of him actually getting hit with shrapnel from one of his own devices... Uh, Eric Killmonger shows up and actually saves him. But we find out very soon in this episode that, um, of course, Killmonger has other plans for for what's going on, deeper plans. So this episode was, um, I thought it was pretty decent. Um, I, I do think it might have been, to me, just one of the weaker episodes. I'd probably give this one uh, a 7 out of 10, um, even though I did think it was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I did enjoy it. Uh, like I said, where it started out, uh, with the fun V and then it went from there. Uh, he kind of found out some things about Obadiah Stane and how, you know, from the first Iron Man movie that he was the one who put out a, a hit on Tony. Uh, so, you know, it, Killmonger saves him from that, earns Tony's trust. Um, Tony makes him the, uh, CFO or, uh, of the company. And, you know, he, he just takes him under his wing immediately. Uh, Pepper, of course, is um, very skeptical of this as Tony just brings him into the fold knowing little about him. Um, she even asks Rhodey, <laughs> you know, about him at a point, and Rhodey has, you know, his intel. But, you know, he, he didn't see anything past what Killmonger wanted them to see. So we find out that he, Killmonger, when he was in MIT, uh, he had a project for these drones that he could never really um, get them to work. He said the interface wouldn't work. So, of course, him and Tony, you know, build these drones um, that he had in mind, of course, to infiltrate Wakanda or even to take it over. Um, and so as they're building this, they find out they don't have a power source because it was the funny thing was Tony was thinking about it and he was like, well, what if we strung down an arc reactor? He's like, oh, that'd be a dumb idea. So, um, Killmonger suggested vibranium and, uh, Tony was like, well, too bad. My dad used up most of it. And he was like, no, nah, I got some. And he had, you know, the ring that he got from his father, of course. And so, uh, they wanted more vibranium, uh, to build more drones for the government. So, of course, uh, they make this back, you know, behind the scenes deal with Ulysses Claw because, of course, he has all this vibranium that he stole from Wakanda. And um, so we see at this point where uh, Rhodey goes to pick it up. This is kind of like the scene from uh, from Age of Ultron where Ultron comes to get the vibranium from Claw. Um, but instead, since Tony never created Ultron... Uh, T'Challa shows up as the Black Panther to re reclaim the um, the vibranium, but of course Killmonger has his uh, own plans and ends up killing T'Challa and Rhodey uh, in the process. So when he gets back, Tony finds out what he's been doing. Tony confronts him. He tries to uh, take out Killmonger with his own drone, but Killmonger was successful in defeating the drone and also murdering Tony Stark. So his plans were running deep with this whole episode. So after he does that, of course, he goes to Claw after the government gives him full uh, access to all of these drones. They mass produce them. They take over Stark Industries. Uh, Killmonger goes to Claw to take him to Wakanda, of course, as a scapegoat, as he did in the first Black Panther movie, where once their deal was done, he used Claw to get into Wakanda and say, hey, you know, I, I killed the person you've been looking for, the person who stole your vibranium, the person who killed many Wakandans in, in doing so. So at this point, of course, we are, like I said before, he kills he killed uh, T'Challa already. So T'Chaka is still king at this point of Wakanda. So when he comes in, of course, you know, he knows who Eric is, uh, that he is in T'Chaka. And that he is the son of Njobu, his brother. So the, the U.S. government wanted to use these drones to infiltrate Wakanda. 
and Killmonger had a plan. He said, hey, you know, drop the shields, let them in, and then that'll take Jarvis offline so we can defeat him. And they do because this is, a, of course, all a part of Killmonger's plan. So he ends up turning the drones back on with a remote that he had so he could gain the trust of the Wakandans. So he turns the drones back on. They have this huge battle, and they defeat him with him at the at the helm. So it's like, oh, now we trust this Killmonger guy. So in turn, uh, T'Chaka makes Eric Killmonger the next Black Panther. So when he is on the ancestral plane, he actually meets with T'Challa, and T'Challa says, was it worth it? And um, he was like, yeah, it was worth it. He needed the power and such. And um, T'Challa ends up telling uh, Killmonger that, you know, power come, coming the way that he got it you know, is, is never a good thing. So at the end of the episode, we see Shuri show up in uh, Pepper's office back at Stark Industries, and she actually found the footage and everything of uh, Killmonger killing Tony. So that's where the episode ends, is where Shuri is exposing uh, Killmonger for who he is. So I'm expecting to see more come from this because there was no real closure you know, to this episode. So I'm expecting to see more from, um, from what happens where Shuri exposes him to Pepper and then what happens where she exposes him also in Wakanda because right now he is, he is the next Black Panther. So again, like I said, I really did enjoy this episode. It was a very interesting one. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know if it was my least favorite, but I, I'd probably put it I probably put it around with the the, the first episode, where um, with uh, Agent Carter. So um, you know, with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra generous, give this video a like. It's much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of all my latest content. And once again, thanks for watching, and see you next time.